Hello, this is Jonathan with Food Forest Farm. Thought I'd do a um, tour of the nursery today. Uh, it's a nice day and the light is just right. And we're uh, just updating our website. We, we uh, made a new website, updated it from the previous version. And I thought it'd be great to do a video of where we're at with the nursery at this point, Food Forest Farm, and some of the plants that are looking really well. So let's do a little tour. Here we go. This is the nursery at Food Forest Farm. This is after two years of planting and growing. We have a nice amount of uh, plants that will be for sale uh, this fall and um, we'll be shipping out next spring. So let's get started. Here's a nice line of, uh, of our Russian comfrey here. And come on on over to our, this is our non-flowering French sorrel. Looks really great. Nice shiny leaves, delicious lemony flavor. These bulbs here that are uh, kind of round and globe-like flowers with the, the stringy stems, that's the, uh, the end um, flowering stage of the perennial leek or the elephant garlic. And they're mixed in with some of the, the plants here. You can see right here is Turkish rocket. Really great stage right now. It's going towards end of summer, those uh, more fresh middle greens there are the the best edible ones uh cooked you also have um just next to it is skirt which is like a perennial parsnip with parsnip carrot carrot flavored roots you can see the foliage on that and the seed heads uh, just finishing up their flower stage there you go nice shot of the flowers there. Leaf color starts to get this nice purple, purple reddish color going towards fall. That's skirt. We'll come down along here, some more um, Turkish rocket here looking amazing. Some more Russian comfrey and mixed in with some elephant garlic perennial leek. Come along here and you'll see the, this is what we're calling giant Korean celery. Uh, the fresh leaves are um, delicious cooked, can be, can be a replacement for any celery in um, cooked dishes. Just massive amounts of flowers on there, just covered in beneficial insects. You can see it's an umble like a Queen Anne's lace. That is Korean celery. Coming on along here. You can see that bluish green plant there. That sea kale. Isn't it just beautiful? So this is the summer stage after it's gone to flower in the spring. And we only eat the spring flower buds which have passed and the fall leaves, which we're not ready for uh, harvesting. Um, so closer to September, October, before the, the first frost of the season, we'll collect these newer growing tender leaves and eat those like kale. These huge leaves here are, um, are, uh, let's see, these are the, um, I'm forgetting at the moment, I'm not selling it, but it's a uh, horseradish. We'll probably put this on the list soon as I develop more uh, rootstock of that, but it's just amazing. You can see how big those leaves are. Horseradish makes an amazing mustard for, for uh, condiment. This massive tree right here with the big leaves is Polonia tomentosa or princess tree. Just amazing. That's one, uh, 
that top section is one seasons of growth. It's probably 12 feet. 12 feet tall from the mid midpoint. What do we got down coming down here? Um, getting into some of our other uh, experimental trees. We, right there is um, fragrant spring tree. Really nice um, flavored leaves, cooked. Tastes like soup. Um, very important Chinese medicinal tree um, and edible um, tree vegetable. Some of our other uh, projects. Come along here, we'll see some of the other things for sale that we have for sale this year. This is um, Wild Cinna, doing really well. Amazing nitrogen fixing shrub. The seed pods are developing on there. The seed pods. We'll be offering um, probably some more trees coming up soon. This is our, our mulberry. That we got um, started that from a from a stem cutting, which is uh, common in most mulberries, but in the north it's hard to get them to root from stem. But that one's really easy to grow. Offer that one as a biomass and forage crop. Starting to get sunny. It might not be as easy to see on the video, but uh, here's some younger wild senna looking really amazing. Come along here. Here's some of our willows that we'll be offering this year. Growing, growing really well. I'll walk through the forest here. Come along. More Turkish rocket and um, giant Korean celery looking great together. More of our experimental willows. Willows were really fun to work with. They're easy to grow from, from stem cuttings, just pop in the ground, and uh, have a lot of potential as a forage crop for livestock. They really love to eat it, very healthy for them, both medicinally and nutritionally. There's some uh, poplars I grew from a stem cutting two years ago, and they're just massive. Grew so fast. Just two summers from a stem cutting, and they're already 12 feet tall. There's another plant we'll be offering, the Illinois Bundle Flower. This one here. Beautiful foliage, very fern-like. Uh, just great for beneficial insects. Um, it's a native prairie plant, and uh, livestock love to eat it. So there you have it. Thanks for doing a quick tour with me at Food Forest Farms Permaculture Nursery. Have a good day.